Hi everybody, this is Chilisa. Thank you so much everyone for coming back to my channel. Thank you so much to everybody who's listening in the podcast. Today is September 18, Wednesday, 2024. I wanted to come here and speak about this tragic story that happened a, a, a couple of days ago. This is so tragic, you guys, and I wanted to create this episode and I do apologize. I cannot make the, um, I'm not recording it like, um, like I normally will do for YouTube. Um, but I wanted to come and speak about this because like I always tell you, everybody, your life can change at any moment. At the end of the day, you guys, we plan our days. We think we have control and anything can happen really. So the best thing to do is to have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ because tomorrow is not promised. So anything can happen. I'm going to speak to you guys about this family who went, who was on vacation in Hawaii and Ma, uh, their ma, uh, the mother and the father drowned when they went swimming, leaving behind their 18 month, month old baby. Um, their child they took with them on vacation. And also, just to let you know, the mom was also pregnant. So all three of them died, right? So let me read to you guys this story. Pregnant mother and her husband drowned while snor- snorkeling in Maui. The, 80, the couple's 18-month-old son was staying with his aunt and uncle at the time. It says here, a husband and a wife who was pregnant while their second child drowned while vacationing in Maui over the weekend. The incident happened on Saturday, September 14, at approximately 12 uh, noon. Maui County Fire Department confirmed, confirmed in a statement. Ma, uh, quote unquote, Maui Fire Department and Ocean Safety personnel responded to the report of swimmers in distress in the area along the north side of Ahiki Kinawi Natural Area Reserve, the fire department uh, told the press. And an official aboard a jet ski first located a non responsive 26 year old female who was pulled from the waters and brought back to shore to receive CPR. While arriving, firefighters focused their efforts on the woman. The jet ski returned to the waters to search for the 25-year-old male the 26-year-old was reportedly uh, with. So they went back to search for the the dad, right? Um And according to Maui County Fire Department, he was found on the bottom, 100 to 150 yards from shore. Resuscitation efforts proved to be unsuccessful, and both parties were pronounced deceased at the scene by EMS. The fire department um, said that they, um, that's basically what happened. That's what they told the press. A GoFundMe account organized by Andre Tupikov identifies the deceased Alaya and Sophia Tisaruk. I do apologize if I'm mispronouncing these names, but their names were Laya and Sophia Tisaruk. Uh, it says here, Coronco, yesterday we lost a dear sister and brother, daughter and son, and beautiful niece. So, she was pregnant with their um their first I mean with their second child, which was gonna be a girl, right? But uh, I says yesterday we lost a dear sister and brother and daughter and son and a beautiful niece, but we know that heaven received and gained their three the three of them with open arms, right? On September fourteenth, Laya and Sophia uh tragically passed away together while vacationing in Maui. They were retrieved from the ocean by lifeguards who were unable to revive them after much effort. The GoFundMe noted that the Tisarcus were expecting another child at the time of their death. It says Sophia was pregnant with a baby girl and they lived behind their 18-month-old baby Logan, who was staying with his aunt and uncle at the time. So that is so sad, you guys. When I heard this story, I'm like, oh my goodness, this is so tragic. It is so sad. Uh, I'm sure, guys, the last thing in their mind was that something like this could ever happen. 
and leaving their their 18 month old behind she was also pregnant too um and they just you know they're vacationing in hawaii out of all places beautiful place right and they're enjoying their time and they go for a swim and then they never return alive you know that's all your life can change your life can change at any moment it says that uh, Laia and Sophia are remembered as people who loved the Lord and were always serving in the church and serving people around them. So isn't that such a comforting thing to know? They were always serving in the church and they loved the Lord. Like this is why when you hear, read a story like this, that's how you know. You know, when I read somebody who dies and then you see that they live a Christian life, they live loving the Lord, right, and serving, that tells you, like, immediately what comes to my mind is that verse that says, in my father's house, there are many mansions. Sometimes in life, we don't understand why things happen, right? We don't understand as tragic as anything in life could be. We don't understand. There are things that don't make sense. I mean, to me, I can tell you, there are things that I'm, I question. You know, it could be like, you know, dealing my mom has been sick for a while now. Sometimes, you know, I'm like, I cannot believe that she doesn't, that she doesn't walk anymore. Things like this, right? And there are things that I don't understand. And then you wonder, you know, how can this happen? And there are things that we shouldn't, you know, there are, God, there's a reason for everything. And a lot of the times, also in the Bible it says, because when they came to Jesus and asked, how, who, who sinned, his parents or him, right? And he said, and Jesus said, this is happening so that the, uh, that the, the works of God could be manifested in him. So sometimes, you know, we, you know, our ways are not his ways. And even though we as a human, uh, small minded, could be questioning things that happen, like God, that nothing takes God by surprise. Nothing takes God by surprise. That's another thing that you need to know. So I'm going to leave. You guys know that I do support GoFundMe a lot. I'm always sharing links, especially when I tell you the story. I think GoFundMe is such a great venue for a community to come together and you know and help people in need sometimes we like oh that's you know that's i don't even know who they are by the way they're from washington state um so sometimes we we hear about stories we're like i don't know who they are you know but um we are called to help people out too and if you feel compelled to help them you know they left their 18 month old um baby boy logan so He's going to grow up now with, without parents. But like I said, there's a reason for that, even if sometimes we don't understand it. Um, it's almost like a lot of the times, you know, nothing is taking God by surprise. And when things happen, you have to understand it's not, it's happening. And that's it. Like God, you know, God knows that it's happening. It's not going to be like like 18 years from now and be like, oh, I can't believe this kid grew up without parents. Like, you know, you never know, right? Um, like, God knows why things happen. That's the whole point that I'm trying to say. I'm getting myself confused here. So the GoFundMe link I'm going to post so you guys can go and help out. The funerals are scheduled for September 25th. And quote, unquote, the family said, we are blessed to have to have had both of them in our lives and are left now with the sweet memories and moments that we share together with them. The serving, their serving spirit and warm company will never be forgotten. And may God help us all to love and serve one another as Laia and Sophia serve, right? Again, guys, I do apologize if I might be mispronouncing some of the names. But when you hear a story, because, you know, every time somebody dies, everybody says, oh, yeah, they're, they're in a better place. When you read a story about somebody who passed, right? Um, and you know that these are people of God because he says they love the Lord and they serve in the church and that there is such a comfort to that. And that's the whole point that regardless of what could happen is, you know, if something tragic happened in this life, I know 
I'm going to open my eyes, you know, in, you know, in front of Jesus, like Jesus said, I'm going to go prepare a place for you. And he said, in my father's house, there are many mansions. And that is our comfort, right? That through Jesus Christ, we get eternal salvation through him. So at the end of the day, guys, what's going to matter the most is a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Thank you so much, everybody, for coming back to my channel, listening in the podcast. Please, if you want to uh, help out the family, I'm going to leave the link. And let me know um, what you think about this. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a good day. God bless. everybody this is Julissa thank you so much for coming to my youtube channel I hope you liked the video don't forget to subscribe and share and if you want to know more about me you can visit my website julissadesigns.com have a good day everybody god bless